डाउट्स में अटकते सब्जेक्ट्स में लटकते कब तक हम रहेंगे सर पटकते अब वेदांत तू देगा प्रॉब्लम से छुटकारा आई के समझ हाय मायगा तो मजा आएगा मजा आएगा तो समझ आएगा बढ़िया टीचर्स प्रॉब्लम्स चुटकी में सुलझाएंगे डाउट सारी जिंदगी से आज आई गॉट योर डाउट दिस इज योर आंसर समझ आएगा तो मजा Vedantu learn live online to attend a free live class download the app now Hi everyone good evening I am Ankita Sharma your math teacher of biology and I welcome you in this today's class I hope that you all of you are doing amazing We are doing a super amazing series for class नाइन और हम बहुत कोशिश कर रहे हैं कि आप सबके एग्जाम्स अच्छे से हो आपको सारे कॉन्सेप्ट समझ में आ जाए तो आज की जो हमारी क्लास है इट्स अबाउट दी डाइवर्सिटी इन द लिविंग ऑर्गेनिजम इन टू डेज क्लास एवरी वन वी विल बी लर्निंग अबाउट दी मोनेरास प्रोटीजास फन जाय एंड ऑफ कॉज प्लान किंगडम राइट एक्साइटिंग येस एवरी वन जस्ट गेट स्टार्ट एंड हेयर बिफोर वी स्टार्ट अ क्लास वी नो द ड्रिल राइट यू नो दिस पॉलिटिकल ड्रिल एवरी वन Amazing things are happening on amazing channel. So this one of this is one of the important thing that I would love to talk about. This is nothing but our microcrosses, everyone. Right? If you have any difficulties in learning from the topic or some of the specific subject, you can always come for these amazing microcrosses. You can use this code that is A N K I M I C. Any five percent of discount will be given to you, everyone. That is something amazing. Okay. And of course, you can go on the link. Apart from it, we have you, everyone. We have the crash courses, right? Crash courses. You just want to revise your whole chapter, whole syllabus for the biology. You can opt for the amazing crash courses. That's something really, really amazing. You have test series. You have doubt solving. Amazing expert who will be helping you to solve your doubts. And definitely a lot of assignments. And of course, live classes with your amazing teachers, everyone. So do uh, visit this particular website, everyone. See over here, and the course price has been reduced this much. That is something which is super amazing. Okay. Apart from it, everyone, this is a sh uh, schedule for all all the classes. Everyone, I want to take a picture of it. Don't miss any of the classes that we are having, everyone. Amazing stuff, right? Abhishek sir will be taking these many classes. Then we have Anubha ma'am. Then we have Gopal sir. Lots of classes with sir. You have everyone. One more, and of course over here it's me. So today we are doing diversity in the living organism. In the next class we'll be doing the second part of diversity, which is very interesting, everyone. So let's start our class without wasting any of your further time. You know the drill, everyone. Hit the like button, share with your friends, and subscribe to our amazing channel. Right. And if you haven't joined the Telegram group link, please join it. Now in today's class, everyone, what we're learning, let's just see it in a very quick go, and we will start our class. A small uh, request for all of you: please don't leave the video in between. I know your time is precious, and I'm not wasting your time. We're just trying to cover up important topics. The video will end at a very some uh, very soon. So please don't leave the class in between. You have a target, right? And you want to go to the end. This is something like that, you know. So please don't leave in between and let's get started. So today we are we are doing the diversity of the living organism. In that we will be learning what the five kingdom classification. Then of course we have kingdom monera, kingdom protista. Then of course we will be talking about the kingdom fungi and the kingdom plantae. In the next class that will be in the Saturday we will be doing the kingdom animal here. Okay. Let's start this class, everyone. Super excited to be there with you, everyone. Get you some charge and let's start. Before we begin, everyone, I want to thank these all amazing students who have actually taken their time out and write the answers over here. This was a homework question, okay? So I want to thank Akansha, okay, Chandra has written something, Tamanna, then Preeti, then Sheetal. Then Bala Sahib, then Shushila. That's amazing. Everyone, can you see uh, how they are writing? Shushila, uh, the shoes for the ninth class. It's still not there. You'll not be able to find it. But very soon, I think you know exam series will start. So you can look for that on the same channel. 
Then we have Payan and then we have Punya and they have answered it. And of course, see everyone, Sharan is here. Okay? Dibansha is here, Vasudev is here, then Nishu is here, Karan is here, Gaurav. And Trisha is also here. And apart from it, everyone, see, more of you. Spark Gaming, Gaurav is here, Alicia, Ishan, Pavi, Manoj and Akshay. Thank you so much, everyone. See, your hard work is over here. It just feels good. Apart from it, everyone, we have more. Dipansha is here. Dipika, um, Yugant, then they have, uh, and then Tamanna. Anand Rastogi, thank you so much for supporting Team Vedantu. We really appreciate your statement over here. Thank you so much. Right, so thank you everyone. With this, I want to say thank you all the students who are writing the answers. That just shows that you are 100% dedicated towards your study. In this class also, I will be sharing an interesting homework question. Do write in the comment section below. So, finally, finally, finally everyone, let's start a class. Oh my god. To just start the class before we have to motivate, right? We have a little bit of motivation inside. We just need a bit more motivation. So we'll go forward. So you have a motivation kya hai hamare liye? Make your life a masterpiece. Imagine no limitation of what you can be or have or do. That's right, right everyone? Just be the great possible or you know the great possible thing that you could be. Do your best, give your best and you'll achieve a great success. On that note, here is the first question, everyone. The question uh, clearly says that you have to tell about the incorrect statement. So you should know the correct statement first. So over here we have the incorrect statement, everyone. Priya protista includes unicellular eukaryotes organisms. Then, of course, both menera and protista. Maybe autotrophs or heterotrophs, right? Then, vertical considers cell structures, more and source of nutrition for classifying the organisms of the five kingdom. And monaras have a defined nucleus. So, what do you think is the right answer, everyone? Let's see the bit of explanation. See, we know this that kingdom monera basically is the one which we have the bacteria, and it, it has all unicellular organism. A very, very important characteristic feature about the monera is that they are unicellular, means they are single cellular, everyone. The nucleus is suspended inside, okay, it's not enclosed in the nucleus. Kingdom monera and proteasta may have autotrophs and heterotrophs. So, there are a lot of moneras which are autotrophs, that means they can make their own food. There are some of them are heterotrophs, that means they are dependent upon others for their food. Same goes with proteastas. Vitrega basically consider cell structures, mode of nutrition and source of nutrition as a five kingdom classification. He took these points for the classification of various animals. This is also right. Monera have poorly defined nuclear region. This is an incorrect statement everyone. So the right option will be option number D. Right? So the statement is saying that they have a way defined nucleus. But we know that it's not the right case. Monera don't have the defined nucleus. They have the nuclear material inside them, which is scattered throughout the cell. Okay? Next question, everyone, on your screen. Organism without nucleus and cell organelles belongs to. So, important thing, everyone. What they're telling us? They are telling us that the organisms don't have a nucleus. So even if there is a cell, okay, they don't have a Nucleus, okay, and they don't have a other organelles also. So fungi we have proteasta definitely will have why because these two are eukaryotes. Whereas archaebacteria and eubacteria, okay, cyanobacteria and archaebacteria both are both belongs to the monera. That means they are the one who does not have a nucleus. Everyone, nucleoid, right? See everyone over here, nucleoid. Okay, the DNA is completely suspended over here. It's not enclosed in a nucleus and they don't have any other organelles also. So hence, right answer will be 3 and 4. That means archaeobacteria and cyanobacteria will not be the one which have a proper nucleus and the cell organelles. Okay, 
Let's see the next question, everyone. <clears throat> Yes, in which in taxonomical hierarchical families comes between. It's interesting, right, everyone? So they are asking basically, we have kingdom, phylum, etc., etc., where the family comes. What are the first and the next step in between the families? Let's see that, everyone. See? So we have the first, that is the domain, which are the U bacteria, okay? Then we have the kingdom. After kingdom, we have the phylum, class, order, family. So order. After the order, we have the family, everyone. After the order, family. Hai. And before the genus, we have the family. So the family basically is coming between the order and the genus. It's coming between the order and the genus. So according to the question, the right answer will be Order and the genus. So it is found between the order as well as the genus. Okay. Next question, everyone, on your screen. Teratophyta do not have. What they don't have, everyone? We have talked about the various different plant species and other things. So teratophyta don't have something. That is nothing but. What do you think? Roots, of course, they will be having. Stem, yeah. Leaves also. So they are the one which, which came after the bryophyte. So they have proper roots. Stems are there, leaves are there. The only thing that they don't have is the flowers, everyone. They don't have the flowers. Okay? Though that they have the vascular plants, they are the vascular plants which have the xylem and the phloem, but they don't have the flowers in them. And the right example for this amazing tetraphyte is the fern. Very, very common decorative plants you must have seen in various gardens and maybe in your home also. Okay, so the right answer will be the flowers, everyone. Question number five, everyone, on your screen. Now, this is interesting. Here, we have to take all of your concentration out and try to solve this question. Basically, you have to solve the match of the following. You have to give some points here and you have to match with B. So, start with exercise. Start kare. Can we start with the exercise, everyone? Let's see. So, we'll work on over here and go ahead. Chalo. So, naked seeds, right? Naked seeds are found where, everyone? They are found in the? In gymnosperms. Okay? Humne padha hai, gymnosperms, may the seeds are not covered. They are completely exposed. Whereas, the covered seeds are found in the? Angiosperms. Then comes the flagella. Flagella is found in the euglena over here. Then, Marchantia is the bryophytes. Okay, Marshalia will be here with the Teratophyta, Fungi with the Penicillium, and Clytophora is the Thalophyta. Okay, Clytophora. Hence, everyone, these things are done, and let's see the right answer. Okay, this is how the answer will look, everyone. Easy peasy. Okay, different characteristics will be uh, this different characteristics. Were here and of course based on those characteristic features you have to understand. Now there's a one good way to tackle all these type of questions everyone. For example, you don't know about let's suppose Marchantia. Okay? Try to understand about the different terms. Try to identify the different terms that you are 100% sure that they will be matched together. So once you have some doubts with one of the part, you can actually Look in this particular way and that is how it will be helpful for you to answer these questions. Okay? Everyone, I hope you're not lo losing the pace. Let's go and see the question number six. Question number six. Who introduced a system of, system of sy scientific nomenclature of organisms? So easy, right everyone? We just know there's all, there was only one person who invent, invented all this. Because he thought that it's really very really difficult for us to understand, name all the organisms, categorize them. And he is none other than Carlos, right? See everyone, he was a great scientist and he worked upon it and he basically developed the system of the classification. Carlos Linnaeus, okay, he gave this whole classification from the kingdom. Now in the kingdom we had the broad species, everyone, right? Okay, kingdom. 
Okay, then comes the phylum. Then comes the class, order, family, genus and the species. So I would love all of you to take a screenshot of it everyone. Kindly take a screenshot of this. Very easy to uh, understand or for a very quick revision. What is species, what is genus and etc etc. So you can always take a uh, you know, revision from these particular slides. Okay, moving on the answer will be. So wait a minute. Okay. The answer will be the Carlos Linus. Let's see the next question, everyone. Which among the following produces seeds? Now we have just seen that you know there are two gymnosperms. Though they don't have a covering, and angiosperms have the covering. So we are clear with that. So Thallophytes are Charidophyta, Bryophytes are gymnosperm. Which among the following produces seeds? The gymnosperm is sure that it produces seeds, whereas Bryophyta, Charidophyta, and Thallophyta we have a doubt. Let's see that, everyone. Okay, let's see everyone. Now we know that the thallophyta are nothing but the the one that we study over here are the fungi. Okay, the thallophyta have algae and fungi over there. They have the lichens, which are the pollution indicator that we have studied about, right? So these all are thallophyta. Okay, they don't have a proper body structure also. So of course the production of seeds is very far off. Then we have the bryophytes. They don't have a proper structure, but yeah, they have the initial form of the plant structure. The example is the mosses, teredophytes, the ferns. Now these everyone don't produce the seeds, okay? The seeds production starts from the gymnosperms and goes to the angiosperms. So according to the question, our answer will be gymnosperms. Let's see next question everyone. Defi well defined nucleus is presented. So super easy everyone, right? Well defined nucleus is absent in. See where we have, we know that it is not present in the bacteria, right? We have a clear understanding that the nucleus will not be present in the prokaryotes and the moneras. Okay, so blue green algae, diatoms, algae, and these. The only thing that makes sense over here is the blue green algae, everyone, right? Cyanobacteria. They are the cyanobacteria, everyone, which are the blue green algae, and they are the one which falls under the category of Monera. Hence, they will not have a proper nucleus because the main characteristic features of the Moneras is that don't have the nucleus. None of the organelles are present, they are just freely suspended like this. Okay? So, rest all diatoms, algae and the yeast, basically they are the eukaryotes and they have a well-defined nucleus. Everyone, thank you for watching with the session. We are done with the plant kingdom, fungi, the amazing proteasta, monera and five kingdom classification. If you have any doubts everyone, you can watch the videos that we have on our channel in which I have taught about the diversity in the living organisms in detail. So do go over there and learn and then you can come back and take up this quizzes. Okay? I hope everything is clear. This is a homework question everyone for you. Which group is called as the amphibians of the plant kingdom? Super, super, super duper easy everyone. I want you to see the answers in the comment sections below. Don't forget to write the answers everyone. And have we done everyone? You will be having Gopalsa sessions very soon and of course Yes, our sessions is there on the way. Okay, chalo. With that everyone, I want to thank you for making Vedantu app as an award winning app. Everyone, thank you so much. Download the app, a lot of amazing things happens over there. So be a part of that world. And, of course, are here everyone. Do give it a try, learn with us, enjoy with us. This is how we are working hard for you. Micro courses are here, then we have the crash courses. Do give it a try, go on the website everyone and learn with us. Subscribe to this amazing channel everyone. Hit the bell icon and if you have any inquiries you can always write to me on ankitasharma.vedantul.com Okay, do that everyone. Thank you so much for your love. Hit the like button, share with your friends and subscribe to the channel. I will be seeing you in the next class. Thank you so much for your love and your support. Bye bye everyone.